On April the 20th, 2016, a standalone comic issue for The Walking Dead came out called The Walking Dead The Alien. Although it was not created or written by Robert Kirkman, it is still 100% canon to The Walking Dead comics universe, and these events did take place in the same world. This story takes place in Spain, the city of Barcelona. The main attraction to this comic issue is that it follows Jeffrey Grimes, Rick Grimes' younger brother. The question of Jeffrey's existence in the show universe has been much anticipated. However, with how this issue ends, the question would not be about Jeffrey. It would be about who saves him. A mysterious woman arrives on a moped, she says get up in Catalan. She wields a medieval spear, she's suited in medieval armour. She saves Jeffrey. Now, where have we seen this armour before? So yesterday it was revealed that the Alien will be getting its own hardcover edition. It'll be available Wednesday, July 29th this year, and in bookstores Tuesday, August the 4th, even later on in the year. Now, this issue has been out for just over four years, so why is it happening now? Well, of course, last year in July, The Walking Dead comics completely came to an end. The main Robert Kirkman series finally ended. And so with literally nothing else The Walking Dead related for a few months now, probably even more, this is just a good time. There's actually many other reasons, of course, this can happen. I have touched on Jeffrey Grimes before, but with the news of this announcement, I think it would be a great time to talk about how he could come into this show. Or like I said in the intro, how Claudia could come into this show and what importance it could play. Of course, before we begin, make sure you subscribe or you're like Nicholas. Don't be like Nicholas, simply subscribe to be more like Rick. And Connie wants you to join my Discord server so that after this video you can talk to other people, the same people that watch my videos, and discuss about what you think could happen. I'll see you there. First of all, the setting of Barcelona is a perfect place to have a spin-off. It's almost the setting of a dying light map, jumping from building to building. The roads are very narrow, and it would make for some really interesting herd scenes. If these characters never even end up getting a mention or an appearance in the show, a standalone movie or spin-off would be great to see what happened to Jeffrey in the TV show universe. There's nothing to say he doesn't exist, it could absolutely happen. It reminds me of season 1 of Fear the Walking Dead, with the city of Barcelona being burnt and bombed because they're trying to get rid of the virus. This is what the military did. As we saw at the start of season 2 of Fear, LA was being bombed. And at the start of this issue, Jeffrey wakes up in the mist of Barcelona being ruined. And so if a spin-off or something alike did happen, it would be another perfect way to see what happened at the very start. We saw parts of Atlanta in The Walking Dead. In World Beyond, we will see Nebraska get destroyed, and this could be a perfect way to see Barcelona in Spain. Now, of course, a huge spoiler for the alien. At the end of this issue, Jeffrey Grimes does get bitten and put down by Claudia, and that's why if the show does carry this story through, Claudia would likely be the only survivor of it, so he, we wouldn't have Jeffrey Grimes, but we would have Claudia and the message that Jeffrey gives her, which is why I think it's completely possible something does happen in the Rick Grimes movie or movies, more likely than we do in the main show of Fear. It's as simple as Claudia is wearing armour here. She is sent to go and find Rick Grimes. As far as we know, she never did. She wears armour and she's on a journey to go and find Rick Grimes. What better way to have this story continue than the show? With this announcement, and with more people knowing the real story of it, which is that it's Rick Grimes' younger brother, people would read it a lot more than they used to. More people would know about this story now. And so if we do see a Claudia character find Rick in the movies, people that have read this will know of that now. We could see a webisode or a small movie where we see this issue be adapted. Then we later see Claudia in the Rick movies. It could even be a background character, but it would be an extra story that only people that read this new comic would get. I say new because the hardcover is going to make a lot more people read it for sure. Now, what would be the point? What message would Claudia have? Rick never even mentioned his brother. Would he care? Well, let's look at the death of Jeffrey Grimes. Jeffrey and Claudia get to a boat. Jeffrey looks down at his left leg and sees a bite. Claudia is in disbelief and starts crying. She is sad. Jeffrey looks up to her, hands her his weapon, and says, please. He wants Claudia to put him down, but he says, but first, promise me one thing, would you? If you do make it to the States, get a message to my brother. His name is Richie. But these days, I guess everybody calls him Rick. He's a police officer. Rick was shot in line of duty, slipped into a coma, but he's gonna pull through, he always does. He looks at Claudia. Jeff, wait. How, how am I supposed to find this Rick? I don't even know your last name. Where does he live, Jeff?
Jeff. The issue ends. So Jeffrey Grimes likely passes out and is in the middle of turning. We can assume Claudia did put him down, however still does not know the second name of Rick. She doesn't even know where he is, and she's in Spain, nowhere near the United States. The positive to this is she's on a boat. She probably only has to go to the east coast, anywhere near the east coast of the United States, to hear the words Rick Grimes. He's actually become a celebrity in the apocalypse, as we saw in season 9. Rick Grimes is here! That's the man that ended the war. Is Negan suffering? I hope he damn well is. And in the New Beginning story arc in the comics too, what the group all went through up until that point is like the stuff of legend to all these characters now. So I do believe Claudia is still out there looking for Rick. She'll hear about Rick Grimes and from there, I think she would find him. But of course, as far as we know, Claudia never appeared. Rick Grimes died and she still hadn't arrived. She could have made a brief appearance during the A New Beginning story arc time jump, but as far as we know, that just didn't make any change in Rick Grimes' character. He never found out the fate of his brother. And so I think this is where the show can achieve this goal. When I say the show, I mean the show's universe. In one of the Rick Grimes orientated movies, have Claudia as a side character or an even bigger character. We'll not only see the journey of Michonne and Daryl finding Rick, but Claudia finding Rick. I think she'd be given something a lot more special than just the fate of Jeffrey Grimes. I think she'd know about the darker side of the CRM. She's wearing medieval armor. In the adaption, it could be CRM armor. The reason she has his armor and is not with the CRM is because she escaped. It's very possible that the CRM knew about the virus before it started with their armor literally being immune to walker bites. Walkers can't bite through it and you can't even penetrate it with knives or other blades. It was fully prepared beforehand. With Claudia having all these weapons and armor at her home, she could have escaped early enough to have all this CRM stuff, but not late enough to be trapped there. I think it's completely possible that this is adapted. I think the main place to look or anticipate something like this happening, like I said, is the Rick movies. Just have an extra character there with this backstory. The fate of Rick and a character that is experienced with the CRM should be almost a rebellious CRM soldier, the one that escaped. A bit like Isabel in season 5, but an actual good character. Claudia has a lot of heart, more than this Isabel character does. It would be a great way to familiarise Rick Grimes with the CRM and with who he was before the apocalypse. I know a big thing when talking about Jeffrey Grimes is casting. Who would play Jeffrey? Well, I've always kind of thought of Tom Hardy with how he was able to pull off playing Eddie Brock, you know, a character that is quite cool, but towards the end he fouls in his life before he becomes Venom. That definitely depends on which incarnation of Eddie Brock you're looking at, but his life wasn't going too well towards the end. And even before then, I think Tom Hardy would pull off the right balance of charisma with this character. He could pull off the Grimes charisma, yet still be a bit geeky. That's what Jeffrey is. I honestly just want an excuse to see Tom Hardy be like Bronson again. That would be the funniest fucking thing if he was in this. But what do you think the chances are that we'll see an adaption of this issue? Do you think we'll see Jeffrey Grimes? And if so, who do you want to play him? Do you think it is possible we'll see Claudia? We'll see a version of this story where Claudia does go on to find Rick. Well, of course, vote in the poll and comment down below what you think. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you press the like button. And it helps me out and we'll get this video more seen. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you check out my other latest videos. Check this one out to see all the latest on the Rick Grimes movie. When will that first movie come out, and will it really be in theatres still? We also talk about the returning dead characters that will return to The Walking Dead or Fear The Walking Dead. And of course, we recently had some news that Fear The Walking Dead will be crossing over into The Walking Dead in Season 11. It's just a rumour, but in this video we prove how it's much more than that. And it's very very likely to happen. And so if you want to know how that would happen, and when exactly in Season 11 it will happen, then make sure you check this one out. And of course, make sure you subscribe so that you're the first to hear about The Walking Dead and the first to see my videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.